preferences are used to set how student manager looks and feels. Most preferences are system-wide. That is, once set, they affect how everyone sees student manager. Most of the time, the preferences are going to be set by the keeper of the flame or the person in charge, a student manager, after consulting with the manager. To look at the preferences, we can go up to the Edit menu and down to where it says Preferences. When I bring up the Preference box, you can see that it is divided by tabs into the major areas. The first tab says System. These are preferences on how certain things in the system work. You'll notice, for example, we can set up how some of the shortcut keeps work. These would be global preferences for the Alt F3, F4, F5, and Shift F2 shortcut keys. Looking under the name preference, most people get shocked by how many settings there are. It's not as complicated as it looks. We can go in and turn on and off fields that we don't want to see or that we don't use. Some fields, the ones that say label as, we can go and change the default label to something maybe that our school uses from the default for student manager. If we turn off a field, for example, maybe we don't collect birth date information, I can remove that check mark. We will no longer see it in Student Manager. So one of the things that happens is when Student Manager is set up in your location, somebody goes through and sets up all the preferences for your location. You'll also notice there's a button that says Name UDF, or User Defined Fields. When we click that button, we can set up these various user-defined fields. Sometimes your program needs fields that there's no other space for. So we can go through for name, course, register, instructor, course, register, instructor, and define other user fields that you can use in your program. We'll see those in other videos. And so it just updated those changes. Now we're back, and I can see when I click on Course that there's various preferences that I can set for the Course tab as well. And if I go along, I can set for Register and for the Org Defaults. The Organization Defaults basically lets you set up your address and things like that. Pocket Ledgers, the accounting module, if your program uses that and information for, that you're going to collect on a firm. A firm is, let's say you have a contract training as the firm uh, that you're doing the, the training for. Faculty and pay information as well. Um, when we click OK, any changes we've been made are updated and the message appears in the upper right-hand corner that those changes have been made. When people log in to Student Manager the next time, those pre pre preferences will be enabled. For yourself, we can go Edit, and it says My User Profile. And these are preferences that affect you only. So you allow you, it allows you to put in your name, your phone number, your email address, and the signature for you to use on your email. So every time you send an email, this is the signature that would appear. You may also override the default shortcut keys with your own information that you'd like to use. So it allows you to override Alt F3, Alt F4, and Alt F5. Finally, there's a, an obscure one right here that says Pick List Reset Time. So the Pick List Reset Time is when you're searching for a name, is the amount of time before the text that you type in disappears. So if I was looking for John Doe and I've typed in J-O-H and I stop typing, that text will appear for three and a half seconds before disappearing and I have to retype it. Let's look at an example of that. I'm going to go ahead and close this box. It's going to save any preference changes. And I'm going to go up here and I have my names menu. So if I type, I'm, let's say I'm looking for John Blow, 
and I start typing BLO. You'll notice down at the bottom here, BLO stays there and then disappears. The pick list reset time takes care of that time before the text disappears. That's all there is to it. Good luck.